our story began um, September of 2008 with our Jemaya, who was three at the time. She was diagnosed with brain cancer. Um, and she was given six months to live. She passed away eight months later. Um, she buried her in 2009. And then my middle daughter, Carlicia, was diagnosed in 2010 with cancer as well. And she went through treatments and she's now 19, almost 20, a sophomore in college and doing well. We, every September, because September is set aside for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, um, we try to do fundraisers. And due to COVID, we couldn't do them like we normally did them. So what I did was <clears throat> I went through Facebook. I solicited donations through coworkers, through friends, through text messages to try to raise funds. My goal was 5000 because I knew Jay's Hope had not been able to have their normal fundraisers due to COVID-19, so they needed extra funds. So my goal was to donate $5,000, but um, thank God we got to $8,500. Today, we are donating $8,500 to help children with cancer and their families. So the money raised um, today by the Stevens family will go to directly support families right here in middle Georgia who have a child battling cancer. We have had to cancel a lot of our fundraisers because of the pandemic. And, um, you know, so that has been a challenge. And so this is just an extra special blessing, um, you know, during these tough days. I just want to let everyone know to continue to keep these children and their families in prayer. Just because Childhood Cancer Month is over, Childhood Cancer is not over. To be aware, to support, we are too quiet about Childhood Cancer. So, you know, these kids are fighting and we need to support them. Childhood Cancer, even during the pandemic, you know, it, it hasn't stopped. So, and our families, their needs, um, I feel like have, have been even greater with what's been going on in the world. So it's just a huge blessing and so thankful for um, her circle of friends and supporters that jumped on board to help and support Jay's Hope.